at first I did believe there was a virus, but when they start taking away your rights, it doesn't make sense. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them. You must stay at home. Conspiracy theories about 5G have been spreading since the beginning of lockdown. There is no virus, it's 5G radiation poisoning. This is all a big part of the eventual goal, which is control. Your body can't handle this new 5G. It's not built for it. And yet lots more people are going to be ill. These false theories have been contagious. BBC News at two o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. Police have broken up a group of around 25 people protesting about the lockdown in central London. The demonstration took place near to the A&E unit of St Thomas's Hospital. 5G, tyranny, get used to this. Tyranny, fascism, fascism, fascism. Major health organisations have said that 5G is safe and that there's absolutely no link between it and coronavirus. Arrest Bill Gates! Arrest Bill Gates! Arrest Bill Gates! So where did the idea come from? And how far are its believers prepared to go? You're going you're gonna to be poisoned. Are you going to stand for that? Well, we're not standing for it. It isn't coronavirus. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How much time are you spending online? I looked at my screen time on my phone, I think it was at like 16 hours maybe. A day? Yeah, yeah. but it's gone, it's gone down now, but at first it was like 16, maybe 17 hours. Yeah. What did your mum say? I was not happy at all. Isaac is 17 and he's been stuck at home like the rest of us. He's been living through his phone and in early April, his friends started sharing something unusual. Someone sent um, something into my Snapchat group chat. And there was some guy, he was talking about um, how the 5G thing is um, that real thing that we should be scared about, not coronavirus. And coronavirus is a cover up for a lot of different things that the government is doing. I was thinking this guy is definitely bored because it makes no sense. What are your friends thinking? They're thinking about the 5G stuff, the radiation and it making them sick and whatnot. Some of them actually genuinely believe it and some of them haven't. They, don't, they basically don't want to leave the houses. Wow. Yeah. False theories about the virus and 5G spread quickly at the beginning of lockdown. Do you think it's difficult to tell what's true and what's false at the moment? Very, very difficult. I just don't believe I just don't believe anything to be honest. Unless I see it come from um, one of Boris's speeches. The misinformation that people are spreading is quite dangerous. There isn't one coherent 5G conspiracy theory. Some people say the virus is man-made and lockdown is a cover for installing 5G. Others say it's actually 5G that's causing coronavirus symptoms. And some think it's an excuse for forced global vaccination. It all comes back to a fear that 5G is harmful to human health. There's no credible evidence to support that. But that hasn't stopped wild speculation online. And celebrities have been super spreaders. US singer Kerry Hilson was one of the first. She shared this now debunked video of an alternative doctor in March. And I'll finish with anybody want to make one guess is to where the first completely blanketed 5G city in the world was. Exactly. Kerry later tweeted that her management asked her to remove the post. What the doctor said wasn't true, but the idea was infectious and anti-5G posts went viral. On the first day of lockdown, MIA tweeted, then later removed, this. Here's the broadband that they're, like, digging up to install. Why are these men here? Then Callum Best put a post on Instagram. So did Lee Ryan from Boy Band Blue. Like so many of these posts, it's since been deleted. Then Hollywood actor Woody Harrelson. 
These messages were coming up on all of our feeds and they weren't stopping. Amanda Holden said she accidentally tweeted a link to this petition. But four hours after she shared it, the page had over 120,000 signatures. BBC News at 8 o'clock. There's been another record increase in the number of deaths. I think it's a man-made thing. Guys, it's been put there for a reason to keep everyone in while they test the 5G. Amongst his usual posts, British musician Black the Ripper was sharing anti-5G videos. You mean 5G? And I'm mad at Trump for allowing 5G to come in. Then he died. Rest in peace, Black the Ripper, and respect for speaking the truth before you died. It fueled even more conspiracy theories. By the end of the first week of April, fake news was everywhere, and the government decided to step in. On the point about the 5G masts, the story somehow got about that uh, uh, they play a role in the, in the spread of the disease. Uh, that's just nonsense. Dangerous nonsense as well. Then this happened on ITV's This Morning. The fake news that is travelling around at the moment is just ridiculous. Do you remember, first of all, of this, uh, that we can't ignore the 5G conspiracy theory. What is that all about? It's not true and it's incredibly stupid um, to be... The only thing I, I totally agree with everything yeah. you're saying, but what I don't accept is mainstream media immediately slapping that down as not true when they don't know it's not true. No one should attack or damage or do anything like that, but it's very easy to say it is not true because it suits the state narrative. That's all I would say as someone with an inquiring mind. The theory that 5G had something to do with coronavirus had made its way onto breakfast TV. He immediately said that this wasn't being challenged by state media. Now, as soon as someone talks about the British press as state media, you know they've been on the internet too long. The media regulator Ofcom later said that his comments were ill-judged and risked undermining trust in public authorities and scientific evidence. Just before we go on to the programme, I want to clarify some comments that uh, some of you mis may have misinterpreted from me yesterday around conspiracy theories and coronavirus, and this involved the rollout of 5G. Every theory relating to such a connection has been proven to be false, and we would like to emphasise that. However, many people are rightly concerned and are looking for answers, and that's simply what I was trying to do to impart yesterday. But for the avoidance of any doubt, I want to make it clear no scientific evidence to substantiate any of those 5G theories. I hope um, that clears that up. With all the misinformation swirling around, it's easy to lose sight of what 5G actually is. David Robert Grimes is a physicist and cancer researcher. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, how are you? 5G is essentially a new standard in mobile technology. And one of the things that people correctly realize is that this is a form of radiation. Radiation is, is scary. People are frightened of that word. There are forms of radiation that are very, very dangerous. But what people forget is light is also a form of radiation. 5G is tens of thousands of times less energetic than even the visible light to which we are exposed every day. Technology, it pushes us forwards. While companies like O2 are promoting 5G with glossy adverts like this. And it has long empowered generation after generation. There's an underbelly of people that have long opposed it. I think it's really important to work out that a lot of the conspiracy theories being spread at the moment are actually not even new. There was people against 4G, there's, there's groups against Wi-Fi. And back in the 1910s, there was people against radio. What has changed now is not that these fringe groups have existed, they always have but now they can harness the power of social media to go and spread their beliefs and to evangelize them. And because we live in a world where we use technology, but we don't always understand what it really means or how it works, we are very susceptible to frightening claims. As we see more and more sleek 5G adverts. Welcome to the fifth generation. 
some people have become increasingly afraid. When I heard the, the word 5G, I, I just thought, hold on, here we go. Naveed works for BT Openreach. A, a, a lady approached my van. She said, I know what you're here for, I know what you're doing. You've been hired by the council to basically roll out 5G. He installs home internet and phone lines, not mobile networks like 5G. But he's been targeted, just like other engineers. One day in April, a woman approached him quoting false information. It, it made no sense to me as well about microwaves and blood cells and what, how it affects everyone. She walked further, further up past the shop and probably about 10 metres down there was a, a group of uh, 10 men. When she was pointing at me and she said, that person, he's the, the cause of everyone dying. Because then I could hear uh, foul language, I could hear abuse, I could hear things like murderer, killer, uh, threats like watch out, watch what happens to you. You feel uh, very, very frightened and scared. No job is worth risking your life for. Between April and June 2020, telecoms engineers reported 264 similar incidents. So what are you laying? Uh, fibre. Fibre? What kind of fibre? Fibre optic, 5G ones. You know when they turn this on, it's going to kill everyone, and that's why they're building the hospitals? Yeah. No idea. No idea? No. It's my wrong, because when I put it on Facebook, it's going to go viral. Is this, is this, is this your RF reader? Is this that your RF label. leader? This is a f label machine, mate. Look. Okay, well, I'm just saying. You're safe. That, 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 that is them. That's one of them. What was he saying? Uh, tell him we don't want 5G in this area. Why are you guys hassling this man? I see him take a lot of crap before. They attacked him and they say, uh, why is he putting in 5G? And he says, not 5G, he, he's a professional guy. He's working. Come on. Yeah. This thing is bigger than all of us here yes. because I could find myself in a box tomorrow because the government can kill people if you talk too much. The, the birds are getting the, the biggest hit because, they, you know, they get the radioactive. They can't take certain microwaves in their ears, you know, because they're weaker than us. Yeah, we, we, get, we, we die slowly. Naveed is one of many engineers who've been harassed thanks to the spread of theories linking 5G and COVID-19. And there's consequences. One study found that if you believe in a link, you're far more likely to leave the house, even if you have coronavirus symptoms. The latest figures show that another 346 deaths linked to COVID-19 have been confirmed across the UK in 24 hours, bringing the total number of victims to 31,587. It's early May, a month since the government assured the public that 5G conspiracy theories are false. Ladies and gentlemen, the government of life today. A small group of protesters have gathered in St James's Park, London. Their concerns range from vaccines to freedom of speech. Bill Gates is saying that we have to have mandatory vaccinations until we all do take the vaccinations, the whole world is on lockdown. But 5G fears are what seem to unite them. There's an appeal from over 240 scientists and doctors formally appealing to the UN, asking for the stopping of 5G. It's already been stopped in a lot of yeah. cities and countries. It was there that we met John. 5G, when that gets turned up, that's when they're going to start blaming the second wave. So all our kids are going to get done. We, we're we're poggered, radiation poisoning. This ain't no virus. There is no coronavirus. They're not treating people with coronavirus. They ain't. There's a liar. There is no virus. My name's John. Um, I'm a carer for my dad. I'm a pers qualified personal trainer. In my spare time, I like to do boxing and train my clients. So we met you at the protest. Why, why did you decide to go um, down? My concern's over 5G. There is no virus in my eyes because everywhere they're turning on 5G is where this so-called virus is coming now. I've had concerns over 5G for uh, over four or five years now. The vast majority of scientists thinks, think that it's safe. They don't, they don't, they don't. That's what the media are telling everybody. The proper scientists have come out and said it's not safe. I know my body for 10 years, it's been a certain way. Until they brought a 5G tower to around, around literally two minutes from my house. And I've got a metal jaw 
and that's 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 been in agony i've had headaches i've had eyeballs feel like they're boiling i'm getting rashes i'm getting my psoriasis has come up when it never has and all this has happened within five weeks since they put a 5g tower next to my house I mean, have you been to the doctor about that? I'm not going nowhere near an NHS. The hospitals, they're murdering people. Um, doctors get into medicine because I'm, they I'm not going people. No, I'm not going nowhere near any hospital, no doctors, nothing. So what do you think's really going on then? I think it's a new world order. He's pulling the strings, Bill Gates. They're wiping people out with the radiation and then you're going to come for the children with your vaccines. The same man who wants to vaccinate us is the same man who wants to depopulate the world. I mean, vac vaccines stop people from getting illnesses. No, they illnesses. don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. There is no virus. No, a lot of there people ain't. have died from the no, virus. Not, no, they haven't. We're being, <laughs> we're being played. Whatever way it is, we're being played. When I deal with people that are anti-5G, they're very frequently anti-vaccine. They're very frequently anti-medicine in the conventional sense. Bill Gates has put an awful lot of his work into vaccinating people in developing countries. And we do that because after clean water and sanitation, there is nothing that saves more lives than vaccination. That makes him a villain to people that are ideologically opposed to vaccination. So to accept that 5G is secretly doing us harm, you have to then accept that the WHO and the Center for Disease Control and all these international health protection bodies are lying to us. And as it goes on, you have to accept more and more to preserve your initial belief. And that drives people deeper and deeper into, I'd say the rabbit hole of, of conspiracy theories. And conspiracy theorists have turned on people in unexpected ways. In April, a pair of amateur 5G fans noticed their website had suddenly become a lot more popular. Today I'm in Grimsby, a North East Lincolnshire fishing town, which also happens to have a 5G site in the town centre, which you'll be able to see right behind me here. And that's the site I'm going to be testing out today. I'm Jake. I'm Peter, and today we are in Oxford city centre to look at networks. Peter and Jake are 5G enthusiasts. They run a site that maps out the masts around the country. So we're now near Jubilee Gardens and just to the side of Jake there is a three Samsung small cell. Three do actually have small cells, yes, that yeah. is indeed true. Recently we saw a spike in um, traffic to the website. At first we were just like, oh, oh our, our SEO must be really good, you know. We're at the top of the Google search results. People must just be interested in 5G. It was only when we started to look on um, the stop 5G pages that we realised it was a bit worse than we'd actually thought. Look at that. 5G tower. Zero G now. I'm mad out here. Remember when lots of celebrities were posting about 5G? That week, there were 20 arson attacks on masts. The website traffic increased by about 3,000%, but some pages were increasing in traffic by over about 14,000%. One group in particular was specifically titled as a mast arson competition, and that's when we made the rather sad decision that it was probably best to start to take down some of the pages. In another part of the internet, one doctor has stepped up in the fight against misinformation. Did 5G cause coronavirus? People suggested that 5G damaged the immune system and boosted the viruses. This is not true. Dr. Karan Rangarajan is a surgeon in the NHS. How do you know coronavirus is real? <laughs> well, apart from all the you know, science and medicine and CT scans and chest x-rays and tests that we've had to prove it exists, um, I've had coronavirus. He's become an online medical mythbuster. 5G mobile data is transmitted over radio waves. These radio waves are non-ionizing, which means they don't damage the DNA inside our cells unlike X-rays, gamma rays and UV rays. Spread knowledge, not the virus. I did a video on YouTube and on TikTok. The 
uh, comments which dominated uh, the comment thread are all about how uh, I'm not a physicist, which is obviously accurate, but you know, you don't need to be a physicist to know that 5G doesn't cause coronavirus. You need to be a human with uh, common sense and logic. The real worry is young kids and other people who could be, for want of a better term, brainwashed by these ludicrous theories, which doesn't just stop with 5G and coronavirus. You know, it goes to vaccines and then young mothers not vaccinating their kids, you know, and by not vaccinating, we can have outbreaks of these things and we don't want that. It's been over seven weeks since most people have seen their loved ones. Around 300 people have taken part in a protest against the lockdown. But a week after the last protest, there was another and it was much bigger. Tom Simons was there. The protesters gathered near Speaker's Corner, making few attempts to keep their distance from one another. They opposed the government's measures, some saying that the virus was a hoax. Piers Corbyn, the brother of the former Labour leader, was among those led away. It had been a while since I'd seen John from the last protest, so I met up with him on the eve of the final clap for carers. How's it going? So how have you been since last time? Uh, I'm still in pain from the 5G towers. That's about it, my jaw. Um, we have to keep going, don't we? Instead of clapping, he's made a sign. I, I, I agree strongly with this. No clapping for the murderers. No to 5G and the radiation that comes with it, because all our kids are going to be harmed. It's that time again, loud and proud. Let's all clap for our carers. While the rest of the UK were clapping, John held his cardboard. I remembered something he'd said earlier. When I spoke to you last time, I think you said you were a carer. Just... Yes, I'm a carer myself. It's called clap for carers, so really they're clapping for you? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't want no one to clap for me because I'm a carer for my dad, which I'll do for free. I don't want no help from no government. I don't want no one to clap for me. These are the things that we should be doing anyway. The NHS, they're doing their job. How, how is your dad? Um, at this moment, it's touch and go on what's happening and how long he's got, but I've got him comfortable. So do you think maybe it, it might be good to spend you know, the time and effort that you're putting into this, you could be spending it with your dad? I get that, but again, it comes down to humanity. I, I, I can't sit back and rest while I know we are being murdered. Do you not worry that you're, you're isolating yourself a bit then? No, I'm not. I, I was isolated away from the world anyway, because the world has too many nasty, evil, greedy people in it. So I, my life hasn't changed much. I don't care what anyone thinks. I lose my own family over this. I stand by my beliefs. I have fire in my soul and I, I will not back down. John is one of a growing minority who believe in the 5G theories and their anger is having a big impact around the country. Welcome on board Avanti West Coast Service to Liverpool Line Street. There's been nearly 100 mass fires since the start of lockdown. Merseyside has been a hotspot. I'm not aware of us having any attacks against 5G masts uh, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Detective Chief Superintendent Mark Kameen has had to set up a unit dedicated to investigating the fires. Uh, Merseyside Police received a call from a member of the public who had seen three figures running away from a telecommunications mast and he could see that the mast was on fire. We found the partial burnt remains of a rubber glove. When we sent that off for DNA examination, a profile came back for Michael Whitty. Michael Whitty was sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to arson. This is the first time we've had a conviction um, in the UK. It is arson that they're committing. It's a very serious offence. This is foolish behaviour done by stupid people who don't understand the impact of what their actions are doing to the wider community, removing a key means of communication for people who may be vulnerable to get in touch with emergency services or to get in touch with their own loved ones. It's an attack on our national infrastructure. Today, we can say that our long 
national hibernation is beginning to come to an end and life is returning to our streets. The UK is emerging from a lockdown infected by damaging misinformation. Theories about 5G mutated and multiplied, undermining social distancing and potentially stopping people from getting future vaccines. Meaning this conspiracy theory could have a toxic legacy for all of us.